yeah so just keep uh alternating your knees keep your chest up in your crunch position good and keep scooping belly button to spine just doing a couple more switch and up and switch and up and switch and up and last one good now hug the knees in towards the chest take a deep breath in as you exhale reach both legs and arms away circle around and extend and circle and reach and circle two more and circle and last one good now hold it here take the hands to the outside of the thigh and see if you can just walk yourself up finding your boat position here take a deep breath in and then exhale walk your hands down come back down to that position reach the arms above the head coming up squeeze through the abs walk yourself up finding that nice flat spine good and walk yourself down reach the arms back last one deep breath in coming up find that strong tall back position and then exhale cross the legs and just making your way over finding your hands and knees taking a few of our cat and cows just warming up the back good just taking this at your own pace adding any little movements into the back that feels nice just moving, compressing through the spine, scooping up through the abdominals. And then tuck your toes, take a deep breath in as you exhale, just hovering those knees. Then take one deep breath. Turn your knees to the left on your deep breath in and then exhale, extend your left arm up. So you're like a variation of your side plank. Exhale, center. Good. Twisting over to the other side, deep breath in, reaching that arm up. And center. Good, one more each side, twist from your core, lifting the arm and center. Last one, deep breath in and center. Good, holding your little box, bring your knees to touch and then opening them out. So you're having your knees in a hover, inhale, tap the knees, inner thighs are squeezing, exhale, open. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, open. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, open. One more. Exhale and then push yourself back, finding your first downward facing dog. So if you want to pedal out the feet here, just finding any movement in the back of the legs, that feels nice. Just pedaling out the feet, bending, stretching through the knees, finding any movement that feels nice to warm up in that position. Good. And then on your next deep breath in, Step your right foot forward between your knees, uh, between your hands, finding your lunge. And then just start to move yourself forward and back here. So just finding a bit of movement in that hip, finding space in the back of the pelvis. Good, bring your left hand down next to your right leg and then take a twist, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, twisting your left shoulder towards the right knee. Good, one more deep breath. As you exhale, bring your right hand down. Start to gently straighten through your back leg and draw your head and chest down over your front leg. So just stretching to where you can, breathe into the back of the legs here. Find space in the hamstrings. On your next deep breath in, bring yourself back forward to your lunge. And then start to walk your hands out on the diagonal. So stay low here just finding a little bit of a transverse stretch in your right hip flexor. So make sure your pelvis hasn't lifted, keep your pelvis down, keep your front knee opening to the side. Good, deep breath in, walk your hands back into frame the front foot, step your front foot back to your plank, take a deep breath in and then exhale lower, drop the knees if you need to, inhale upward facing, exhale pushing back, scooping through the core, downward facing dog. Nice, take a deep breath there. Pushing the chest through the arms towards the back of the room there. Think of pressing down through your feet and pressing down through your hands. On your next deep breath in, step your left foot forward between your hands, find your lunge, and then just start to move yourself forward and back. Opening up through the hips and pelvis. 
Good, bring your right hand down and then send your left arm up towards the ceiling, looking up towards the left side, twisting from your core. And exhale, bring the hand down, start to straighten through both legs, send your bottom back and head and chest down. Stretching the chest down towards your left leg. Breathe here. And then very gently start to bend through your front knee. Take your hands out to that diagonal. Keep your pelvis low. Keep that back leg nice and straight. As you just start to sink down into the transverse muscle of your left thigh here. One more deep breath. Walk your hands back in, frame your front foot, take the weight out of your front leg, step your front leg back to find your plank, take a deep breath in, exhale, lower chaturanga, inhale up, exhale, push back, downward facing, good, take two deep breaths in your downward facing, on your exhale, finding a bit more room for your body to move back towards your leg. And then as you inhale, step your left foot forward, finding a hover. So bring your knee off the floor, scooping it up towards your chest. Take it over to your right elbow and then over to your left. Inhale, right, exhale, left. Inhale, right, exhale, left. And then step it down between your hands. Good. Move it onto the blade edge of your back foot. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, finding your warrior two on your left side. So pressing down into your front thigh, make sure your front foot's really secure and pressing down into the mat. Take a deep breath in, bring your hands into your heart center and go a little bit lower into your warrior two there. Nice. Good, deep breath in, reach the arms long, take an inhale, reach your left arm forward, exhale, reverse warrior two. And then hinging yourself forward, bring your left hand down to the mat and take a big circle with your right arm, finding your extended side warrior. Look up to your top arm here, breathe into the pelvis, make sure you drop your pelvis low. Good. Press into your left hand and then with control, step your left foot back to find your side plank. Looking up to that right arm. And then we're going to come into our tree variation. So bring your right leg up, finding your tree posture. Take two more deep breaths there. And then with control, lift your right leg and then step it forward into your lunge. So you're stepping your left, uh, right leg forward next to your left hand. So you're in a twisted lunge. That's it. Good. From here, either stay there or bring your hands up to your heart center and then find your crossed namaste twist across your front thigh. That's it. Keep your pelvis low. If you practice binding in your classes, opening through the arms and then send your left arm under, right arm behind and finding your bind. Good, take one more deep breath there. Good, exhale, release the hands down. Bringing the front foot, step the front leg back, find your plank, deep breath in, exhale, lower. Inhale up, exhale, push back over the toes, downward facing. Take two deep breaths. Finding a little bit deeper every time you visit your downward facing, stretching through the back of the legs a bit further, pushing that chest a bit deeper back. Nice. On your next inhale, step your right knee forward into your hover position and then take it over to your left elbow. Inhale, exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. And then step it down between the hands. Good. Drop your left leg out to the side. Take a deep breath in as you exhale, finding your warrior two second side. Sinking nice and low into the pelvis. Bring your hands into your heart center. Take a deep breath in and exhale, go a bit deeper. Nice, inhale, release the hands. Reach your right arm forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior two. And then transitioning all the way down on your inhale. Take a big scoop with your left arm to reach it up and over. Finding that extended side warrior. Drop into the pelvis. Look up to the left arm. 
Good, you're gonna press into your right hand with control, step your right leg back to find your side plank. Good, when you're ready, come into your tree variation there. So lifting the left leg up to your tree, keep your pelvis nice and high. And then with control, step your left leg forward to your lunge next to your right hand. And you're in your twisted lunge, second side. One more deep breath, either stay there or bring your hands to your namaste heart center, twisting across your front leg with your right elbow. And then opening the arms, finding your variation if you have your bind. Your right arm goes underneath this time. Good, keep the pelvis low. One more deep breath. Exhale, release your hands, bring your front foot. Send your front foot back to find your plank. Take a deep breath in, exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, pushing back, downward facing. Good, take your two deep breaths here, dropping your knees if you need to. Otherwise, just holding it there, pressing down into the hands. Breathe into your core. Good, bringing your feet to touch now. Send your right leg up behind you. Bend your right leg and start to open up through your right side. Sending your right knee up to the ceiling. And then as you inhale, shifting forward, bring your right leg underneath you and then out to the side of your left arm. So your fallen star. Take your left arm up and looking up towards the left hand. Good, holding through your side body here. Take one more deep breath. As you exhale, bring your right hand down next to your left foot and just see if you can lift it off the floor. Straight forward for one deep breath. And then exhale, placing it down, find your lunge. So you shove your right leg forward in your lunge there. Nice. Good, from here, we're gonna drop our back knee. Take a deep breath in, release your back foot. Start to bend through your back leg and then walk your hands towards the front and then take your left hand onto your left foot and start to pull it in towards your bottom. Good, now you can stay here if you don't have any knee problems. You can hook your left arm, bring your foot into your elbow crease and then see if you can balance by bringing your right hand onto your right knee. So you're really pushing into your left hamstring. Maybe take a little reach up with your right arm. One more deep breath. And then exhale, release yourself back down. Drop your left foot back to the floor and then walk your right foot out to the side, coming down into your lizard posture. So just melting down into the pelvis. Take a very deep breath there. <clears throat> Then making sure your lizard arms are right in front of you, tuck your left toe, stretch through your left knee, and then sweep your right leg back so you're in your forearm plank. Good, holding here for a couple of deep breaths, pushing up onto your full plank, deep breath in, exhale lower, inhale upward facing, exhale pushing back, downward facing dog. Good, take your two deep breaths. Press your feet down into the floor. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Bring your feet to touch and then send your left leg up behind you. Bend your left knee, open up through your left side body. Just twisting from your pelvis. And then inhale, coming forward. Bring your left leg underneath you out to the right side of your mat. And then reaching your right arm up, looking up towards the tips of the fingers. And then bring that top hand down, take hold of the foot and see if you can just lift it towards the front of the room there. And then exhale, place the leg down so you are in your lunge. Good, drop your back knee, release your back foot. And then just coming into that little stretch, you're gonna bend your back leg, take your right hand to your right foot. Either stay there if that's enough of a stretch or you can come into that little bind. So you're gonna bring your arm into your elbow crease and then maybe reaching that top arm up take one more deep breath 
you good. Exhale, releasing down. Release your back leg. Walk your front foot to the edge of the mat. And then coming down to your lizard second side. And then just breathe there into your hips, into your pelvis, just melting down to the floor. Good. One more little deep breath. Then tuck your back toe, straighten through your back leg, sweep your left leg back to you in your forearm plank, second side, holding it here. Good, just holding that forearm plank for a few more deep breaths. And then from here, bend your knees, bring your hands down in front of you, so you're back into your little box, and then shift your knees to the right, drop your feet, take your right arm up towards the ceiling, and then we're going to take our right foot back behind us and transition into our wild thing, so it's like a one-legged sort of back bend. Hold it here for one more deep breath. As you exhale, bring your butt back down, shift yourself back forward, find your little box, and then second side. Knees go to the left, drop your heels, take your left leg back, Reaching back into your little wild thing variation, second side. Exhale, coming back down. Control through your core to protect your back. Back to your little box. Exhale, pushing back. Downward facing. One more deep breath. Good. Step your left leg forward and then pivot your toes to the front, finding your wide leg forward fold. Just take your hands onto your hips and then using your core, bringing yourself up through a flat back. Deep breath in, gentle little back bend, and then exhale all the way back forward. So coming all the way down, just relaxing the back, take the hands to the back of the legs, take a nice forward fold. Bend your right knee, bring your head down to tap the mat, and then exhale, lift. Bend your left knee, exhale, lift. One more each side, deep breath in, right knee. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lift. Exhale, good. Find your centre pose and then bring your hands down to the mat so that you push up through your chest. So just anchoring down with your hands. And then walk your right hand to the outside of your left foot. Reach your left arm up and take a nice open twist to the left side. So a nice stretch in the back of the legs. And then reach your left arm forward to the mat or in front of the mat. And then bring your right arm out through in your extended arm position there, good. Walk over to the other side. So left hand to the right ankle. Reach that right arm up, open to the, twist to the second side. And then reaching that arm up and over to the floor. And then bring your other hand to join. Take one more deep breath. So you're in a, an extended back posture here. So walking like a downward facing dog, but in your wide leg forward fold, exactly. Take one more deep breath. And then pivot yourself over to your right side, coming into your lunge on your right leg. Take your right leg back behind you, holding your plank pose now. So hips are nice and low. Lift your left leg off the floor. Inhale, shift forward, left knee to left elbow. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Switch sides, right leg. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. One more time. I'm good. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Rise up onto the balls of the feet and then just jump yourself down to your bottom and just very gently rolling down onto your back. Bring your knees with you and just take a nice little cross-legged squeeze of those knees. Little rock from side to side. <clears throat> just relaxing the back of the pelvis and the hips. And then take a deep breath in, reach the arms and legs up, inhale, and then exhale, switching sides. So just taking the other leg on top. Good, take one more deep breath. Nice. 
and then bring your feet down. We're going to do a little variation of our bridge posture today. So make sure your hands can just touch the back of your heels. Take a deep breath in as you exhale, start to roll your pelvis up to find your bridge. Take your hands to your lower back and then see if you can just lift your right leg off the floor. Taking a deep breath in there. Exhale, lower it all the way down to the mat. Bend your knee and then switching sides. Left leg lifts up, take a deep breath in. Lower it all the way down to the floor. And bend one more each side. So keeping the hips nice and high with the support of the hands. Lowering all the way down. And bend in, last one. Deep breath in, stretch that left leg up. Exhale, lower. Bend it in, release your hands, keep your hips nice and high, and then roll yourself down. Good. Taking your happy baby to finish. So just take your two peace fingers around your big toes and then just taking a nice happy baby. Bend your knees. Just open, play around there, whatever feels nice for the hips. You can just keep them nice and bent, bring them in towards your face, any little rocks or rolls if you want to do any little rolls to finish. And then we're just going to come into a few minutes, very quick Shavasana. So when you're ready, if there's any final little things you would like to do, please feel free to do them now. Otherwise, just making your way down to your Shavasana. i 
Good guys, and then just rolling over to your right side. Just taking a few deep breaths, lying on your side. Just feeling your body relaxing into the floor, just lying down. And then when you're ready, just pushing yourself up to your seated position, keeping your eyes closed if you can, finding your nice tall seat. Bringing your hands, pressing them down into your knees, lengthening through your spine. And then we'll just take our three deep breaths to close this quick little class today. So hands into your heart center, really press the palms together. Deep breath in, scoop the arms up, inhale. Exhale, pressing down. Good, as always, we inhale lots of positive energy. We exhale any negativity. And we consolidate with our last breath, inhale. Exhale, good, bring your thumbs to your third eye and namaste. Good, lovely work guys. Thank you so much for joining this quick little express class. Sorry the start wasn't very good. Before they started recording, there was a little warm up, but my laptop fell off my bed. So we started kind of without a, a really consolidated warm up. So. It is a really express class today. <laughs> well done, everyone. Thank you so much. Enjoy your evening or day and yeah, see you next time.